Hello, and welcome back to Space Chem. Time for a production assignment. No ordinary headache. I went by Joel's office three days later with diagnostic reports loaded onto a tablet for review. Production was triple what it had been on Danop. We were at record production rates, rivaling even the most prolific sites in the system. I stepped through the door as it glided open, eyes focused on the data and graphs, when I heard a groan. Joel dropped his head against his desk, pulling at his hair and ground his teeth. I could hear the gristle of the enamel. His jaw creaked. Joel? The tablet clattered against the floor. He grunted, lifted his head, opened one eye, and then thrust his head against the metal surface. I strode behind the, deck, the desk. He cried again, thrashed, thrashing his head as blood trickled from his hairline. I pulled his arm around my neck and hoisted him up. We're going, uh, we're going to the med bay. As I dragged him into the hall, it was clear he wasn't listening. Yeah, that's not an ordinary headache, and this music is way too cheerful for what just happened. Ah, uh, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we got a 3 to 1 ratio here of nitrogen to oxygen. Finally got that recycler that I think we had on mission 4-1 in the instructions. Training. And I guess we're dumping a bunch of oxygen into it. Okay. And then nitric oxide. Uh, tell me about nitric oxide. A gas, most notably used as a signaling molecule in Earth mammals. Okay. So we have NO, we have sensor reactor. Are we allowed to use three different reactors for this mission? Why? Is there any reason we would ever need more than a single reactor? I don't... I don't think there is. I don't have the ability to split this pipe up, so it just kind of has to do what it's going to do. I misclipped somehow? Yeah, doesn't need to do anything. So... What potential issue could I be having here? Well... So if I immediately debond, why would I want to do that? I don't know why the the structure of this mission is confusing me so much. It feels like just the fact that I have access to more than one reactor, like I, I'm not seeing how it would even benefit me to use more than one reactor. Unless I had one reactor that was literally just sending nitrogen out in one output and oxygen out on the other. I mean, I guess that would be a thing. That would be one way to do it. Where you just split them into individual nitrogen or oxygen atoms. Because working with the doubles is a little bit annoying. But I don't think that's necessary. We're just going to go for it. As it is. So do we want to decouple them here? Might as well. Now we cannot put a sensor underneath the bonder gate. Okay. I wasn't entirely sure, but I tried to do it and it didn't let me. Alright, so if we input... Let's just do it like this. Input here, back here. Now it doesn't matter what type of molecule it is, and we could get through this without using a sensor. We grab something. And I guess what we're gonna do is 
put a sensor here. Nitrogen's the rare one. So if we get nitrogen, we go down. I don't I don't like what I'm doing here at all. Like I'm not I don't I don't I don't have a plan. I'm just putting things down. That's the problem. So if we did this, we could drop nitrogen, come around for the other one, obviously going through the input's a problem. Come around for the other one. And what? Uh, is there I guess I can see it undo a bunch of times. There isn't a reset reactor is there. I did not like how that was going. I think I want to move it first because what I really want is I want multiple molecules in play at a time. I think what we're going to do, we're going to grab this, I think we're actually just going to put the sensor here. Uh, and this is going to be inefficient, but what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if it's nitrogen. If it is nitrogen, we'll pull it out. If it's not nitrogen, we'll just recycle it. And once we have nitrogen, we'll do a second loop. And if it's nitrogen, we'll just recycle it, and if it's not, then we'll pull it out. I think that's the way we're going to do this. Okay. So it's 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 horrendously inefficient. There's much better ways of doing this, I'm sure, but this is a solution that has come to my mind, so this is what I'm going to try doing. Alright, so we'll actually do this then. And as long as we are on nitrogen, we keep going. Otherwise, we go this way. And then we'll just drop and output. It's fine. So if we get oxygen, we just output it and go around again until we get nitrogen. If we get nitrogen, then we come up here. And I guess we'll drop it here. Something like that. We now have two separate nitrogen atoms here, coming around. Input, grab. On this side, if it is nitrogen, we want to not go forward. This time we want oxygen. Oxygen. It's going to go on this path. And 
We're actually just going to do this. Let's drop, out, drop, out. Mm hmm. Because we don't want nitrogen, so if we get oxygen. Come here. But here, and start over, I guess, something like that. And then red is going to deal with this, this stuff up here. We're going to have a sink in here somewhere. So at this point, what do we have? We have nitrogen in each of these tiles, the individual nitrogen. We have an oxygen molecule. So at this point, what we want to do I still need to put a sink, but I'll worry about that once I've got the red set up. We'll do something like just go up. We'll grab this. Drop. Hmm. Yeah, I've run out of bonders, that's the problem here. This is where it would have been a lot easier if I just debonded them from the start and not having to worry about this nonsense. So they might be starting over again. Because now my plan was to move the oxygen down, debond it, but I need to get rid of this atom first. I mean, I could be doing more with the blue to fix this. Right? Like, if I just assume that I've grabbed... Well, I guess we'll stick with this then. So if I just assume that we've grabbed both of these... And then we'll just drop it here to store it briefly. And then come up. Okay, I want this up here again. Hmm. No. No, I'm uh, I've given up on this reactor again. Sorry about this. This is uh no reset pipes. Is there a reset option? Like, what I was trying to do was going to work eventually, uh, but it was just looking like it was going to be a ton of work, and I didn't really want to deal with that. So I think it's going to be a lot easier to just do something like this, which was, I guess, my original plan. 
we're going to input delete all the bonds no matter what they are and so now we've grabbed something uh, that's fine if it's nitrogen go forward It's not nitrogen. Drop an output. And here we're going to drop. I think what we're actually going to do is once we've got the nitrogen in position, Uh, no, because we split this, I have to go around and do a second circuit. That's that's the complication with this method. Right. So I need to do... something like this. So what I've done here now is we got oxygen, we just recycle it. If it's nitrogen, no, this still doesn't work because this could be, because I split it before I've checked what it is. Okay, well, I guess we'll just do it the other way then. So if it's nitrogen... We come up here. Put sink here. And then we're going to have the triple debond on the red line. We've got nitrogen. We wait here for red to de-link de it. And then we go. And I guess that means... Alright, I can drag and select to get a bunch of stuff. Something like that. And drop it there for the second one. Okay, that should work. So we have oxygen, we just chuck it until we get nitrogen. Once we get nitrogen, we hit sync, and that's when red starts. So red... We actually want a second one here. Red is going to sit at sync and then debond. Let's see why you might want to do this now. Just to make things easier to read. So we've debonded. Sync. Because of where I put this sink, we come through. So we're gonna sit here. 
sitting here waiting to grab the second one to go through. So we need to, at this point, already be done. So at this point, I think we just kind of do the same sort of thing here. We have nitrogen, we send it off. If we don't have nitrogen, ah, uh, this is. A little bit awkward, but we're just delaying. Uh, we can't do it that far because of the the molecule shape. Okay, so we come up here. And... With this, so this sink and this sink means... Waldo's moving, this moves. Waldo moves, this moves. And grabs. This gets it out of the way in time. Okay. Then we sink here. And up here, we're going to do a double delete. So these are now separated. And that was the whole transition that I was having issues with. Alright, so this sink releases you. We're then going to wait here. You come down. Drop. Plus. Oh, what? Needs to be double plus. Uh, this line. Being a plus bond doesn't matter for coming this way, okay. Right, I should finish up this before I... Do we want to sink again? Not really. If we want to do that, we want to avoid the sink. So we just want to keep going around until we get the oxygen. Okay, I think I fixed that part. There's a reason probably why I'm supposed to use more than one reactor now that I've now that I've played this a little bit. All right, so then this line, this one was finished. We then have another sink, which sends this one, gets this one into position. And then it's going to wait at the end. Okay, so at this point we have our nitrogen in position again. So this is grabbing our ox our second oxygen. Let's go around that way. Uh, I do need that sink, unfortunately. So I might I might just throw another sink in here somewhere for blue to uh, compensate for that because I don't want to move through it. Here we grab, drop again, yep. With that in position, we then go plus plus output. And this sink, this sink lines up with this sink coming in this way. So then you're waiting here, and we want one more sink, I think, for red. Okay, I have uh, about a 15% confidence, if I throw out an arbitrary number, that this is going to actually work. Well, let's find out.
It's always something, isn't it? So it's just going to keep doing this until we get nitrogen. There we go. Fully split off. Drop the nitrogen. This is the scary part where you can have a collision. But no, it moves in time. Alright, and it's out. And it's waiting. And it's waiting. Okay, it works. So yeah, this is uh, pretty horrendous because I'm just forcing it to do it in a certain order. But we will eventually get there. Yeah, we got two nitrogens in a row. Oh, okay. I uh, What did I miss there? Ah, of course. The whole point of sending it on this loop was that we were supposed to drop and output uh, if we have a situation where we've got the wrong molecule coming in. Okay, so let's try that again. All right, because we have two nitrogens in a row, which can happen. Right, so we dump that one off. Keep going until we get an oxygen. And then it does this again. Alright, well I made it work. Another one reactor solution. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that can go wrong at this point. I think we've seen all the permutations. score, though. Check out all the oxygen. There we go. I mean, it'll get it done eventually. Yeah, you can see through here. So uneven. Uh, complete no ordinary headache on Alkanost using one reactor. Okay, I didn't know that was a challenge, but I'm not too surprised. Seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, so again, if I'd wanted to use multiple reactors, I guess I probably would have done the initial splitting. So instead of doing molecules coming in, I would have had individual atoms coming in. So the first reactor would have been to have individual nitrogen and oxygen atoms, and then working with the atoms instead of the molecules would have made the second reactor a lot easier. And the third reactor, I don't really know. Maybe that's useful for cycles. I'm actually surprised that my cycles weren't that bad, all things considered. Now, anyway, that was No Ordinary Headache. Uh, next up, No Thanks Necessary. Uh, another... Oh boy, five reactors. It's possible with two. Uh-oh. We'll see what that's about next time. I will see you then.